This is a fun group, and uh, man, I'm so glad to have you guys on. We appreciate it. Thanks for having us. Yeah, so Jack and Aiden and Brendan, you guys, I believe, are in Sydney. Josh is coming yep. in from London, um, which is awesome. I love the fact that we're uh, we're writing songs that are just, you know, obviously in, in different countries and representing uh, different areas and this is amazing but i'd love it for you guys to talk about this song which is uncomplicated man what an incredible song um just listening through it today i mean it's such a just an intimate heart song and um there's so many cool things about it but i want you guys to talk about it a little bit maybe josh will start with you and 
talk about how the song started and maybe what you guys were thinking on the front end as you were writing it. Yeah, um, it was one of those songs that uh, kind of started to come together really quickly. In all honesty, we, um, like you say, I'm from London. I just arrived in Sydney, and uh, the guys came to pick me up from the airport. It was super early in the morning, and we kind of got to church, and we're like, "Well, what should we do with ourselves? We've got like two or three hours until uh, like the scheduled writing session start, and then you know, Jack." kind of suggested, oh, well, what are we getting the writing session, mate? <laughs> we, we, we kind of just started trying to get a vibe going. And honestly, just the word, like, uncomplicated was, I think, something that we were all, like, vibing on. And then it just sort of, the magic moment happened from that. Spirit moment, not magic moment. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it was spirit <laughs> magic. <laughs> well... And guys, it felt like a little bit, you know, as I was listening to the song, I thought my, my mind went to the story of the woman at the well who was encountering Jesus there. And, you know, she she tried to complicate the relationship. You know, she she talked about rules and regulations. and But this song is is all about relationship and how, you know, there's not a, you know, there's one part of the song that says it's it's not about, specific words or formulas, um, which I love that, you know, I, I think as people, we're, we just tend to naturally gravitate toward those things away from, you know, because I guess they feel concrete to us and, and we don't like the, uh, the tension or, or whatever of, of not, you know, having a rule book or whatever, but it, this really speaks to the heart of the gospel, which is about relationship. And maybe you guys could, you know, Aiden, Jack, Brendan, talk a little bit about that and, and just, you know, I know you guys are, you know, Young and Free's primarily singing to a young audience, not always. I mean, there's obviously there's churches all over the world that have sung Young and Free songs. And, um, but you guys minister every week uh, to, to a younger, you know, audience and talk about the theme of that and just mm -hmm. maybe some thoughts around like, you know, what you're trying to communicate through the lyric. Yeah. You want to go, Jack? Or? Yeah, yeah. I'm over here. <laughs> um, I think one of the first words or one of the phrases that we kind of thought of when we started the session, um, and it's like kind of a phrase that we put over our church as well, is come come as you are. And so for us, like something I think that's so important to teach and put in the mouths of um, our youth and people learning more about God is that he just loves us exactly as we are and that we can come to him however that is. Um, and I think that's kind of the essence of this song is that there's no complication to, to that. It's just, we come and he loves us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. But well, um, I love just even Aiden, like the song is, it starts really kind of quiet, intimate, like you can feel it, you know, in the production, but by the end of the song, it, you know, it's this, it's just this anthem, you know, and, and it builds mm -hmm. like all the way through. Um, but it's so powerful as it gets toward the end. Yeah. Yeah. I um, I remember coming in and hearing the song, and so these guys they started at like seven a.m. like they were saying, and then I came in at you know a decent hour, you know eleven or twelve or something <laughs> like that. You know, had a nice sleep in, and I came in, and I remember hearing the song and being like overwhelmed by what you said, like the intimacy of kind of what it was saying, and just that kind of heartfelt thing. And um, I automatically could imagine the song, you know, getting to a point where it's just an anthem and it was big, and and the things that you're saying. But um, it kind of, I was so emotionally stirred by the song. I was like, oh, if, if you need any help at all, like, I would love to because I just love this song. It resonated with me because in a lot of ways, it's the song that I wish I could have sung when I was young. You know, I think there's so, we as Christians definitely try to um, hold God to, you know, um, how we hold our friends. Sometimes we go, oh, if I do this, they're going to like me. If I, if I don't do that, they won't like me. And, you know, when I was young, I definitely held God accountable like that sometimes. And, um, you know, I wish I had a song that literally just said, no, your love's uncomplicated. It doesn't matter. And, um, and so for me, it was like this, we need to sing this song. And it definitely felt like, um, you know, it was definitely a song worth going on the journey for. Mm -hmm. And, um, and even the way that it kind of built and stuff, we had no model for how the song was going to be when, when, when these guys were writing it. Um, it was very stripped back for, you know, and because it felt right. But then when we took it to the 
to youth, it kind of naturally needed to go, it needed to build, it needed to go to the place where it felt like people could really have that moment of response in the bridge, you know, um, I can sing over and over, I love you. And as simple as that phrase is, that's actually how simply God asks us to come to him. There's n- it's nothing more than that. And so, yeah, I think it's a, to me, I'm so honored to be part of it, but it's just a special song, I feel. Yeah, absolutely. And Brendan, it, it really felt, like I love that it's a live recording because you can really feel the energy and just the response happening in the room of this song. And, you know, as you guys have sang this and, and led this um, there at Hillsong, I mean, what's been the response? What have you felt is happening, you know, in the room as you, as you guys are leading it? Um, I think the response when we recorded it at Summer Camp was pretty sick. Obviously, it was like Aiden studying on the piano and then we grew it towards the bridge. But I think it's just a cool song. I think it's easy to grasp, especially for kids. Who, like a lot of our youth kids would bring their friends to youth who don't come from Christian backgrounds or anything like that. I think the special thing for me about the song is that the kids who do bring their friends, it's like when they read the lyrics, it's not hard to digest. Like everything is pretty simplistic. Mm-hmm. Like it makes sense. It's straightforward. And it's like, I think that's why the that song's so special because it's like you see um, – who God is if you haven't heard of him before. And it's like, oh, it's this yeah. thing that like I kind of need in my life or it's hopefully something that has been missing in someone's life who hasn't been to church before, had that God encounter. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for sharing the song with us. Josh, thanks for staying up late. And Jack and Aiden and Brendan, thanks for getting up like super early. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Jimmy. Yeah, appreciate you guys. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you.